this is amazing because I feel like the Pope is getting progressively <laughs> further and further left. The Pope says, market capitalism has failed in pandemic and needs reform. Quote, aside from the differing ways that various countries responded to the crisis, their inability to work together became quite evident. Now, as I read this article, it became clear to me, they're perhaps even like underselling his arguments. Like, they're almost making him seem more moderate than he is. So let me give you some of the, the quotes. Here's one. It is very difficult nowadays to invoke the rational criteria elaborated in earlier centuries to speak of the possibility of a just war. What that means is he's saying we're way too militaristic, we do way too many wars, and I, none of these wars I see are just. These aren't just wars. So let's stop fighting wars. So on top of the economic stuff, now he's leaning into like foreign policy stuff and there's too much violence and war happening around. That's awesome. On the economy, he says, anyone who thinks that the only lesson to be learned was the need to improve what we were already doing or to refine existing systems and regulations is denying reality. So he's saying reform, reform isn't the answer. We need more radical change. We need a page one rewrite. We need to start from scratch and build from the bottom up and have a totally new economy. Because things are so messed up, you can't just reform it and make it better. That's what he's saying. More. The fragility of world systems in the face of the pandemic has demonstrated that not everything can be resolved by market freedom. More. Neoliberalism simply reproduces itself by resorting to magic theories of spillover or trickle without using the name, as the only solution to societal problems. There is a little appreciation of the fact that the alleged spillover does not resolve the inequality that gives rise to new forms of violence threatening the fabric of society. Okay, that's the Pope saying neoliberalism has led to such a decline in material well-being that you have an increase in bigotry, xenophobia, racism, white nationalism, nationalism more broadly. So we have these divides and violence that's coming about as a result of the failure of the neoliberal world order. This pope is getting more and more woke by the day, and I don't mean woke with a negative connotation, I mean it with a positive connotation. This is enlightenment if I've ever seen it. This is like, he's looking at what's happening, and he's like, oh my god. Oh my god, we gotta go... We gotta go full socialism to, to combat this. What we're seeing now is the world economy and the world system crumbling in front of our eyes, and death and despair and a pandemic, and everything needs to be redone here. Strongly anti-war, strongly anti-capitalist world order, neoliberal world order. At some point, dude's going to be out there <laughs> quoting Marx or something. <laughs> At some point, he's, uh, he's going to go too far for, you know, the other people at the top of the Catholic Church, I'm sure they already kind of like despise him because there's a many very, very conservative elements of the Catholic Church. So I don't even know how he's gotten away with all this up to this point, but he's a pope for the left. That is clear. And I think he's pretty much correct about everything he says here. I think he's pretty much correct. And um, I'm very curious to see how much further he goes because at this point, he kind of sounds like me. Or maybe even a little bit to the left of me. 